Woo, hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Chasers coming to you live, live from Jakarta, guys. Uh, I'm actually about to head on a flight uh, back to Vietnam, guys. As you can see here, look, we got the airplanes over here and I'm about to get on a flight. But, you know, I want to talk to you about, I think next week it's going to be big. I, I think next week we're going to see a huge pump coming in for Dogecoin, a huge pump coming in uh, for cryptocurrency. And, you know, remember, none of this is financial advice, just the OG in the house expects my opinion. Uh, sorry, I'm not, you know, showing you all the charts and all the technicals and all that stuff. But we'll get back to that uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, when I'm back to the grindy grind, we'll get back to that. But uh, right now, let's talk about crypto. Let's talk about big week ahead. Next week, I think that we're going to see Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and everything go back up. Uh, right now, we're seeing that the Bitcoin is starting to come back. It's at 40 42,600 right now. So I think it's going to come back up. Uh, big uh, Dogecoin is above 8 cents, uh, 0.81 cents right now. So that is pretty, pretty good. Uh, we seem to be just like consolidating, consolidating a little bit. So, so far, so good. But next week, we've got lots of good stuff that's going to be happening. I believe that, you know, as I said, the big, the big dump that happened for Bitcoin was really due to the fact that, you know, a lot of people who had the uh, Grayscale Trust, they were selling off because the fees were 1.5%, where the fees of the other uh, Bitcoin ETFs are like less than 0.25%, and some of them are even free. So we did see a mass exodus from uh, you know the Grayscale Trust to uh, the other Bitcoin ETFs. As I said, uh, that created some fear, and because of that fear, we had a bit of a sell-off. Also, too, because Bitcoin hit highs we did see that uh they were, were profit taken so i think you know the markets are going to settle uh we did we did not see a big dump like a huge dump ski down to like uh, 35,000. we're still maintaining 42,600, so that is pretty good we're seeing that dogecoin is still uh, on track but dogecoin is still in the house of pain in the house of pain uh area uh we need uh basically dogecoin uh to get to 0. 0.0 85 cents and stay above that level if we're going to have any chance of going up any further so right now um, you know dogecoin is struggling uh, out there it's at 0 0.81 cents i'm not gonna lie to you it is freaking struggling out there but i think uh, you know once next week it's going to be it's going to be big for crypto huge for crypto and i think we're going to see easily uh you know we can see that bitcoin could easily start to bridge forty eight thousand dollars so that's going to be good and i think that uh, you know we'll get above 0 0.85 cents uh, shortly so that's going to be fantastic so i'm looking forward to it so i'm about to get on a flight to uh to ho chi minh city uh, and that flight will take uh, approximately almost three hours then i got like a two hour stopover in ho chi minh city then a one and a half hour flight to da nang so i should be back home by 10 freaking p.m then i'm up uh the next day uh you know up the next day uh to heading towards the grinding grind so that's what's going this is this is the i guess swarto hata airport i don't know what, how to pronounce that if you're from indonesia and i just uh, destroy <laughs> destroyed the, the how to pronounce that i call that i apologize i apologize so this is the og in the house just to bring you some love uh from jakarta guys and it's a great time to be alive so don't worry do not panic about what's going to happen i think next week it's going to be freaking huge out there uh, guys huge out there for uh crypto huge out there for dogecoin it's going to be fantastic guys so i'll see you in the freaking next one guys peace out